And now I'm ready to go for the next shirt. All right, we are here. I realize that I am be slightly distracted with this. It's supposed to be an okay spot, especially out that way. But the way the tide's going right now is it's it's cruising this way pretty quick. So whenever I cast, my lure gets dragged over to that and then it's in the shallows again. Uh, so I'm not really getting it out to where I wanna go. I know the bird's way out there, that's really where the fish are. Okay, so this uh, this machine right here is a serger, and so it uses four spools of thread, and it weaves them together to make these kind of seams right here with that nice thread thread pattern to it. And so it joins two pieces of fabric together like this, and it essentially just does that. So uh, some of you guys who maybe have experience with this know that, and others that's new information, but. Uh, <clears throat> Usually these things can be a bit of a process to change the threads on. This one is actually pretty easy. So I just snip it here and here, lift the foot and grab the thread and pull it out. So that's that's just the, uh, the waist, I suppose. <clears throat> and then these, you just roll them up like so, take them right off. So go here, here, there, there. So that just loops up in this little thing at the top. So I'll pull it up and it just kind of fishes through there, just like that. Then after that, it goes back through there and down around these hooks. I'll just kind of push this one over out of the way, this one around that hook, and then I'll drop it down like that. So these two threads here, they're for the needle. So I'll get the needle up in that high position. I flick this switch over. This is a great feature of this machine. You just kind of loop that in through the eye and it pulls the thread through the eye of the needle. Super easy. And I think, I'm not sure, that might be a patent with this particular brand. I'm not sure this machine's like, I've had this machine for 15 years. So that's the needle thread, those are done. The other ones can be more complicated to thread sometimes, but essentially it's, the same thing, up and over, and then click it down into here. Up and over, click it down into there. What I do is I clip them so I got a fresh little end to work with. And I'll rotate in this part so that I line up these pieces right down in there, like that, and press this button. And then that just pushes those two tubes over into there. So this is the coolest thing about re-threading this particular one. So I'll just go like this and I push that into this hole here. There we go. Give it a little bit more and then you just pull that. And so what it'll do is it'll thread the needle all the way over like that. So that goes over there, flick it to the next one, same thing. Do that. I just kind of squirt a bit over that and just do that. We need a bit more. There we go. Uh, pull these back, put that door up, this door up, and it's ready to go. And that's what it does. So yeah, that, that, that machine, this one particular, um, is super easy to thread in that manner. And now I'm ready to go for the next shirt. Okay, so these are the sleeves. Um, as I cut them out on the pattern, there's that little slit that I put right there. We're gonna come to that. For now, I'm just gonna join them right here. 
So I'll work with one, just throw that one aside, working with the grain. I do my seams on the outside of the shirt. So this is the outside of the fabric. So I'll just fold it over like that and put that side with that side, like so. And I'll make a note that this is the, the squared off part and this one's got the nice curve on it. So I'm gonna start on the curve side first. And I'm gonna make a note of that because the seam that this thing makes is different on each side. And to me, I like to pay attention to that. So we'll go like this. And we'll get this one done. There we go. So I just kind of manipulate it and all I'm doing is holding the other two corners together right here. So I'm not using any pens. I just go for it. All right, so see, that's all it did right there. So now those are together and that's essentially uh, now a tube of material, right? Okay. So I'll do the other one. So instead of going at it the same way, I'm gonna flip this over and work at it from the square side out. And it's just so that it's balanced on either side. Okay, so the reason I reverse it is because you can see here, there's two stitch lines right on this side of it. And if I flip it over, it looks different. See how it's looped like that? And then the, the side's got two lines across the top. So to me, I like the look of this side more than this side. That's just my personal preference. That kind of matters a little bit when I do the, the hem of the sleeve, which I'm gonna do next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, because I like that side, I'm gonna do that inside out, kind of work with it on the edge. And I'm also gonna fold this towards the front so that it stays flat in that direction. So I'll just do this. And this little knife will just cut that right off. There's a little knife right in there. So I'm just finishing the edge of the fabric with this one. And I'll cut that and I'll leave this, this little string hanging off of it. I'll do something with that later once we're near the end of the fabric or the garment. I won't do it right now, but I'll fold this seam over like that all the way around. And then I'll sew this part down flat against the material like that. And this will be the hem of the sleeve. So instead of leaving it like this, I roll it over and sew it. And so there's this nice rolled edge to it. And by serging it, you're getting away from having this uh, unfinished edge right here, which with some fabrics, it'll unravel with this, it's not going to, but it'll look better if it's, I like the look of having a serged hem there as opposed to just raw cut and fabric like that. You could double roll it like that, but it, it is gonna make this quite a bit more bulky on the end. And I like to, not to have it too bulky. Anyway, I'll do this one. Since we're on this step. That's it, so I'll put these aside and I'll work on the, the main shirt now. They're kind of stacked already. And I can already tell that this is the front face of the, the fabric or the, the garment. That's important because I want to work with that stitch the same way. So I'm just going to go in a big circle around it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll sew this edge, then this edge, then that, and then that. And then I'll put the sleeves on. And join that together here. Get it up and underneath the foot like that. And then I'll come out here to the end. Again, I don't use pins. Not for this anyway, I'll just put these two corners together, pull them apart, find where the middle is, and then I'll hold that. And here I'll just manipulate this and kind of unroll that. There we go. So there I've done one side of the shirt. That's basically the, the torso. So I'm gonna flip this over. This is the, the bottom 
where you fit it over your head. So I'll go way over here and I'll just keep going. This one I cut it off right at the end because I know I'm putting a sleeve in there. It doesn't really matter. It's only the outer seams that I leave a strand on, like the hems, the hem side. Okay, this is the top of the shoulder. Okay, so now I'll attach a sleeve. So what I'll do is cut this end off because it's not in the way. Grab one of my sleeves, turn it inside out. And I want to match the pattern up with the stitch, and this is the wrong one, so we'll go grab the other one, just so they're both going in the same direction. It's my OCD side, and this is where that little cutout on the top of the fabric right there, that's where that's gonna matter, that little bit right there. So I'll drop this in to here, and the bottom part of the sleeve itself, like that's, this is the bottom part. So right here, this is the armpit and this is the shoulder. So this part right here, I'm gonna line it up with the other armpit sleeve right in here. It should be the torso. Put them together like that. And so I'll get this started. I'm just kind of bring that piece with this piece and that one with that one. And I like to sew it from the sleeve out. So what I mean by that is this is the sleeve right here and I've got the foot down on this side of it. So I don't have the foot down on the shoulder part with the sleeve on the inside because then I'm sort of working and then I have to manipulate much more of the fabric to get it underneath and out of the way of the needles. This way I can just kind of do a big circle like this and it, it does the whole thing in one go. There we go. And that little cutout right there, I'm gonna match that up with this seam right here because I know that's the midway point. So I'll just hold it there and now I can pull this out and I can find where this fabric meets up in the middle, right, which is right about there. And instead of pinning it, I can just pinch it between my fingers and go from this point to this point on one go with the pedal. I'll just make sure that this is lined up. And that's good. So there's a lot of like uh, little bits of manipulation with sewing with your fingers in that way. So we're coming up and I want this seam to fold over this way, so I'll just let it run through like that. Like that, make it nice and clean. And then I work from the other side where we started and I'll hold that and I'll just bring this across and make sure that everything is parallel. And there we go, that's, uh, that's one sleeve on the shirt, just like that. So, do the other one. Okay, so now do the neck hole right here. So for this, I just work again from the inside out. And then the waistline. So same thing, but it's just a bigger run. When I get back to where I started that piece, I'll just let the knife cut it off and then I'll just pull it through, like pull it off on an angle. It cuts it off. So all I did is I try to angle it off right where the seam crosses over that joint right there. So it'll just come off and I'll leave this tag on for later. Okay, that's how I do all the 
the surging part of it. Um, at this particular stage of everything, the shirt is more or less made. We got the body, the neck, the sleeves, everything's done, but I gotta do roll the hems, so I'll do that later. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna search through all the rest of this stuff and get it all lined up and then we'll get onto the sewing machine and I'll show you the finished steps of that. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I know, I know. He's like, stop what you're doing, let's go play. That's my dinner tonight, just a big salad. I'll probably scramble up a couple eggs afterwards, but 